jolly good day and welcome to T1D Tales. This is just a bunch of stories, really. Information and observations by me of diabetes. I'm not a doctor, I don't pretend to be, so if you want medical advice, please see someone who is qualified. Now, I can't really escape the obvious. Okay, it's right here on my face. Have a look, have a look. That is a perla. Whoa. Other side, pretty clean. This side, not so good. I've been wandering around, people are looking at me going, hmm, 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 or, but no, it wasn't booze, it wasn't fighting, it was just diabetes. It smacked me right in the face, and I'll tell you what, it hurt. I was, I was at home, okay, this is the story, I was at home with the kids, Gwen had been out, and I thought, I am making chicken soup tonight, right? So I got the chicken soup sorted, chopped up the veggies, a little bit of leek and garlic in the bottom. Married to a Welsh woman, there's always a leak in the fridge, so it's great for soup. Anyway, so that was in there, then the veggies went on top, bit of stock, bit of water, couple of bits of chicken in there, and I thought, this is going really well. But my blood sugar had been high, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna get my blood sugar down in time for dinner. So I had my insulin early. Stupid. Well, not stupid, it's just the way I followed up that was a bit stupid. So I had some insulin early, and then was making dinner, things took a bit longer than usual because I'm pretty, well, I'm pretty slow in the kitchen. Good, but very slow. And then I've put the pasta in with the chicken and it was all smelling divine. And then the food's on the table, kids around the table. And I thought, oh no, hang on a second. The eyes sort of started to go. And you know, for me, everyone has a different sort of symptomatic behavior of hypos. And for me, if I'm about to have a, a bad hypo, my eyes, I can't see properly. Mm. But you know, your brain doesn't quite send the message to your body to say, mate, get yourself something quickly. So I thought, I'll just get this all on the table first. You know, you're thinking about what you're doing rather than what you should be. And then whack, just as we were about to eat, I thought, if I don't get on the floor right now, I'm gonna hit something and hurt myself. So whoo, down I went on the floor. And then, you know, I get these convulsions almost and bang, I've hit my head a couple of times. Kids were, you know, whoa, look at dad. And my 10 year old and eight year old were amazing and I, I can't believe how amazing they had to be. It's a bit embarrassing, but they were amazing. And my daughter went and grabbed the lolly straight away and bang, I was chewing these things like, go, 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 like that. And then my son ran next door because Gwen wasn't around just this one time. And um, so the, he's called the neighbors, the neighbors called the ambulance. By the time I was back to sort of semi-recovered, the Ambo, there's three Ambos in the room, a neighbour, my kid standing there going, oh, Dad, and I had beat myself up stupid. At least the floor did, and dinner was cold. It was a beautiful chicken soup. We tried it later, but geez, you know, fair go. Anyway, the point is, diabetes is quite a significant adversary, and Geez, look at the amount of people that had to get involved just to sort my problem out. There's the Ambos, there's the neighbours, there's the kids. Whoa! So, you know what? It helps to have people in support. And sure, you're going to make decisions that are wrong or you're going to get things, you know, a bit out of whack. But it's a learning experience. It's something that you can get better from. And I find having friends and family around me just saying, oh, hey, mate, what's your blood sugar? I love that. Bang, take that. That's a slap in the face for diabetes. And the more punches you throw at it, well, the less it gets to knock you over. So, I don't know, use your friends, use your family, arm yourself with knowledge of your blood sugar and you're a far better chance of getting away without uh -uh, things like this happening. That has been T1 Details from the shed for this first time. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been interesting. See you again soon. Go well. Now, if you like what you've seen, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. And subscribe to get free DIY fun and tips for maintenance at your place.